everybody, it's Sherry with Cards and More by Sherry and the Supply Garden. Coming in to you today, I just wanted to show you a quick way to make a fun pocket page for your mini albums or journals. I'm going to show you today how to make it with a 12 by 12 piece of designer series paper. This is Stampin' Up! two-sided heavyweight paper. And then I'm also going to show you the results if you use an 8 by 8 or a 6 by 6 piece of paper. So this is a real quick and easy way to do this. Um, I've got it sitting on my scoreboard here. And I'm going to score it down the middle at 6. Then I'm going to flip it and turn it so that my score we just made is right here. And we're going to score at 3.5 and, and at 8.5. Okay, now, this is really hard to see on this paper, where you made your 6 inch score down the middle, let me fold it so you can see it a little bit better, okay, there's your 6 inch, and here's your 3.5 and, and your 8.5. On the 6 inch, you're going to cut up on each end to your cross score line. I will see if I can see this. Golly, I should have taken into account a different paper. Just cut up to that intersecting score line. Do that on both sides. You could use your paper trimmer for this if you want to. It's just as easy for me to grab scissors. Okay, now you want to work with this. This is going to make a pocket page. So whatever, if you have two-sided paper or, or not, whatever you want to be on the inside, you need to have face up. So I want this pretty stuff on the outside, so I'm going to work with this side up. Now on your ends where you've cut your flaps, you can't see that, sorry, right here, you're going to fold diagonally up to that score that you made, which I'm going to fold so I can see it better. Okay, so fold diagonally up to that score line and burnish your fold. And do that on the opposite edge and burnish again. Okay, now you're going to flip to the other side and again I'm going to fold these so I can see them better on this patterned paper. Okay, fold your cut corner, fold it up to your intersecting score line, and crease. Do that on the opposite side. I'm hoping my head's not getting in the camera. And crease that. Okay, now here where you've got what looks like a shirt collar, <laughs> you're going to fold this in. And here's where you can make sure your folds are straight by comparing your edges. Fold this one in so that they're overlapping here. Then you're going to take the whole thing and fold it in half. And there's your page. You're going to have a pocket here and a pocket here. Then you could leave the top open and have a pocket there. I would put adhesive down here and close this shut and depending on what kind of binding that you're going to use you may or may not want to glue this shut obviously you're going to glue your flaps here shut if you're familiar with um, Laura Dennison's um, stack the deck binding this page is perfect for that if you leave this open because you'll be able to attach it to the flanges right in here and I'll show you what I mean this is a book that I made with that technique. All it is is these pocket pages. And I used her stack the deck binding. So I did not attach, let's see if I show you. I did not attach my ends, but instead they are glued to the flange. If that makes sense. If you Google stack the deck binding, you will find it. I will try to put a link in the comments as well. But that's a perfect binding for that. But if you're not going to use that type of a binding, just glue it shut 
and you can use it with your bind it all, your cinch, or whatever. Now this is made with a 12 by 12 and it ultimately makes a page that is about 5 by 6. Okay. Now I experimented also. This was made with an 8 by 8, scored it in half at 4, flipped and turned, scored it at 2 and a quarter and 5 and 3 quarters, and this makes a finished page of about eh, three and a half by four. Again, you've got pocket, 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 and whatever you decide to do here. Then I tried it with a six by six piece of paper. Uh, score it in half, obviously at three, flip and turn. I scored it at one and five eighths and four and three eighths. Um, and this makes a page about two and three quarters by three. Again, you've got pocket, pocket, pocket. And these are just fun little pocket pages to make. Um, I didn't do a 10 by 10. Obviously, I'm missing a size in between here, but you could do that. The thing as you're figuring out your measurements, I will tell you to make sure that wherever you score the, uh, the side scores, you got to make sure you have overlap here so that you can glue these shut. That's the only thing. So you could change your measurements a little bit if you wanted to. These didn't overlap a whole lot, but there's enough there that I can get adhesive in there to close those shut. Um, now, I found this. I don't know if you guys keep notes on everything that you do. I have this book, this bulging book with all kinds of things printed off in it, drawn in it, notated in it, where I keep everything. Sometimes I remember to write down where I found stuff. Sometimes I don't. This one, this pocket page, I have written down at the top. It says YouTube Creative Impressions 1. Creative is spelled with a K and the one is the number one. Uh, I'll look and see if I can find that if you want to see her original thing. Uh, but there you have it. Quick and easy way to create some pretty pocket pages. And like I showed you on this one, this only has uh, four pages in it. But you've got tags front and back. You've got big photo mats on the top. Plus I put photo mats here. So you've got three, six, nine, twelve pullouts in here plus photo mats. That's a lot of real estate and you could embellish this a whole lot more if you wanted to. I try to keep mine kind of flat but uh, it's a great way to make a little mini album. You could use any kind of paper that you wanted if you're making a junk journal. You could use newsprint or, or something like that as well. Anything that's square, just start with a square of paper and you can make these uh, pocket pages. I love them and it's a great way to showcase if you've got double-sided paper um, you're seeing both sides of it there. So there you have it. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, please like and subscribe. And thank you for coming by, and I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.